Welcome back to the channel. Well, another day. Another day. <laughs> I'm uh, coming in here today. So it's about time for me to put my bullhorn back through this hood. Just the car just don't look the same without it. So uh, I'm going to paint this hood the next couple of days probably. I'm going to change up the way the car looks anyways. So I'm going to cut a hole in the, this hood. Even though it's a pretty nice hood. And I'm going to stick my little bullhorn back up to it. So I've done, marked it. Done went through and uh, so I shut the hood, set it in there about where it needs to be at. And marked it. So now we're going to pull it back off. Lift it up, see what we do with it. Here's the hole I marked, which is a little bit off because that tube had laid over. So we're gonna move it over. We're gonna measure from here to here and we're gonna put it through the center. And then we'll cut our hole and we'll go from there. up all my holes here the big holes i got covers for them so i gotta cover that one up that one and that one i even saw the one up on top there's some right here Put a little silicone down in it where well, i cut the paint what i sealed it up put it here that way i can put paint over it once it dries tomorrow i'll paint it then i'll paint those bolt that one little piece up there and then now I'll rivet it all down Get as airtight as possible. I still got to fix that hole right there. I see. There's one there. I got to put a rubber garment right there around them. Uh, them lines going through there and right there. Because this thing, when you're racing it with it open, the fumes will about key in the car to get your eyes watered for a pass. So I want to get all that sealed off. That way it makes it a lot better inside the car as far as breathing fumes and stuff. So. I got my tube here. I gotta get my hole saw. I think I might have left it over at Nigel's last time we were there. So I got the hole marked for it. I just gotta go through and cut it. We get to go on that. And then like I said, I'll have my tube back on it. I'll have it back the way I want it. So it's coming. All 
All right, now, well, it's Saturday. I'm in here working on the race car. Coming out here this morning, work a little bit. I gotta go ahead and get all this stuff mounted right here. I gotta get it painted and get it mounted. And uh, the firewall, as you see the other night, I sealed up them holes with some silicone, so now I'm gonna go through and tape it off, and I'm gonna paint it across the top. I'm gonna paint these pieces I got, and let's get this thing together, get the dash back in it. I gotta change the bar angles on the back of it a little bit. I got to, uh, I think I need to go get the oil, change the oil in it. So I have a lot of little stuff I need to get done. But let's go ahead and uh, I need to scuff this first, put some paint on it. So I got the part sanded. Now I've gone through and I've heated it with a torch and I use this wrinkle coat on it. So we're gonna go let it dry and see how it looks. If it looks like that, heck, I'll be happy with it. There you go, a little heat from a torch, and that's what we got right there. I've always liked the way this stuff looks. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> like I said, I watched it start drying. I just took the torch and kept working around it. Got a nice even coat, so this is good. So let's get the other pieces. All right, I went ahead and blasted that real good. So now I'm going to pull all the tape off. I'm going to take my torch. I'm going to heat it up a little bit, get it dried, and then I'll do the other side. All right, I got that painted over there and that side too. I said I filled in the holes, I just siliconed them, and then I ended up painting over it. Cause I, the biggest thing I want is to make sure just keep as many fumes out of the car as I can. When I when I don't run a hood, I don't get a lot of fumes in the car. When there's a hood on it, there's a lot of fumes come through there. So that's why I want to patch this hole up. I'm gonna patch those holes up, and then I'm gonna put my little piece on there. It's gonna tighten everything up. And, I'll still get some kind of fumes, but it won't be nothing like I have in the past. And I still got to fill up that hole and put the little pieces right there for the thing. But it'll be a, it'll be a lot, lot better. I promise you it'll be a lot better. So don't look bad. So now let me go through and uh, start fitting my pieces up, start drilling them and putting some uh, rivets in them. All right, I got those pieces on both sides. They don't look bad, do they? So now I gotta, I gotta take my piece here. I went ahead and bolted this back up because I gotta drill my hole from my throttle cable. And then I can uh, start drilling and mounting that. Took a break for a few minutes. Come right here with John. I'm about to see if we can break the dyno today. I'm still spotting you a thousand fucking pounds. 29.6 without a driver. 29.6 without a driver. That bitch is 31.70 with me in this motherfucker. Like I said, that truck's probably right at 3,000 pounds. Sanders. 
Sammy. Look, that's a fucking Look, hard time. He's sitting in the shop with a razor blade. Yeah, Look, down. we ain't Jody. We, we ain't got all the drive. This is not what tire you show up on. Curb brackets don't come with marks in them. They come with little dots. Curb brackets, they don't got dots on them. Hey, swim shorts. Who's that? Wait. No, no, it's a but, but listen, they, these these phones are drawing each other. They drove, <laughs> yeah. he, him and Jason drove two hundred. Ain't no love miles lost. They fucking drag race each other. Hey, Dorchester. I'll drive this bird. I will drive it. I will drive this him twice. <laughs> Yeah, I think it went out.